What's going on guys? How's it going? And welcome back to another YouTube video. And I thought it'd be quite fun today to show you every single animal and fish I have in my room, including what I will be getting, what changes will be happening, and also all their setups, enclosures, um, also their aquariums, everything. So you guys can get up close and personal and see exactly what I do have and what I keep. So guys, before we start, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed. It means the world to me. It really does. And welcome to the channel, the crew, and the love of fish and all other animals as well. Um, I do want to let you know that I will be uploading twice a week as from now, which is great, awesome. I'm ex so excited to start that. Um, so if you haven't already, please go down and subscribe. Make sure you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. But that's enough of me rambling on now. Let me introduce you, start off with the gecko. Guys, as you enter my bedroom, the first thing you come across is this. This is my Crested Gecko Vivarium. It's 12 by 12 by 18 inches just for a junior gecko. Um, when he does get bigger, I will rehome him into something a little larger. Um, but I've only had it for a few weeks. I did actually make a video on him recently. I'll pop that in the card above so you guys can check all of that out. But let me show you exactly what his Vivarium's like and also try to introduce you to him if he is out and about. So let me show you. So guys, this is him here. His name's Randall. He's only a few months old. He's actually kind of really angry at me right now because I just woke him up. But um, he's only, a, yeah, he's only a few months old, like I said. Um, and he is just such an awesome little crested gecko. He's gonna get a little bit bigger than he is now. Um, it's actually quite nice because his tail is still on, which I really am happy about. People are always scared about their tails, but I feel like some people don't realize how strong their tails actually are. Um, they can drop them if they feel threatened, but if they don't, they literally use it as another leg to stand on, um, which is pretty awesome. That is what it looks like from a head-on view. It's got some nice whiny bits of twigs, so artificial twigs in there, the bit of uh, cork wood, the frog moss, some fake plaster dripping down the side, and obviously his feeding ledge with water dish as well with it. I actually really like the setup. Um, before, uh, if you guys did see it before, it was kind of really poor because this uh, exoterra tank actually comes with an ornament and it's just not the best so i went out i bought some separate things and he is absolutely loving his new enclosure now move on to the next next animal is this guy here i decided to call him sebastian the lobster for anyone who doesn't know he's got a lot bigger now he is a blue lobster freshwater lobster uh, when I first got him, he was probably about two or three inches long, but now I'd say he's a good four or five, so he is getting a lot bigger. Um, a lot of people have said, why is he on your windowsill? So I know that's kind of weird having him on my windowsill, and it's a bit like, why is he there, the sunlight, the algae, etc. But trust me, he is absolutely fine there. I will actually be upgrading his aquarium soon because he is getting a lot bigger, and I'm not the type of person just to sit there and watch him get big in a really small tank, trust me. Um, but yes, I will be upgrading his tank soon, so that will be an upcoming video, so stay sure for that. So go down and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because who would want to miss Sebastian's new tank? But that is my lobster. The reason I'm not picking up is I've done it before. He's not that happy to be picked up. So I'll leave him in there for now, and I can just show you him from the outside as it's safer for all of us, trust me. obviously are on the fish tank portion of this video now um, and I'm going to start off by showing you and talk to you about my 125 which has some awesome fish in it. This is my 125 litre tropical fish aquarium. This is probably one of my favourite aquariums just because of the fish that are in it. Um, as you can tell, the angelfish, there's baller sharks in there, there's corridoras, there's clown loaches, there's tetras, there's plecos, there's literally everything you can imagine in here. Um, and I'll just show you now the setup and I'll show you the fish as well inside. And this is probably one of my favorite fish I do have. His name is, if you can't guess already, Gil from Nemo, that black fish that has a scar along him. I just think that it just suited him so well. He's not gonna turn for me, is he? No, he's not at all. And also, he is just one of those fish that likes to keep himself to himself. He is an extra large angelfish, um, so he is a lot bigger than normal and the average angelfish. Um, that's my hand, and so he is kind of large. Um, and yeah, he's just such an awesome fish. I got it from my local fish store about a year ago now, I wanna say, or maybe nine months ago. I also have these three clown loaches down here. I don't have names for them yet. Um, I just think they are awesome. They stick in a little pod of three. Um, they're actually getting really kind of big. So soon, 
some of these fish will be going in another tank and I'm excited for that video to be happening soon um, because it will be bigger than this for them, including the two uh, baller sharks that will be going in there as well. So this tank is one of my favorites. Um, I just have a, like a sort of like a basic setup really. I just have a few bits of driftwood in the middle, uh, a few rocks down the outside, a real plant, um, and just a random bit of decoration because the Pleco loves to hide in there. did in light by 125 it is one of my favorite fish tanks far in this room uh, but let me move you on now to what started me in the fish hobby originally and actually got me into tropical fish this is my 64 liter platy aquarium now i started off with four um four platies there wasn't loads in there at all and they all bred and look how many there are in there now you can actually see that one there with the black tail i actually bred um separately and also that little one that you can see below just there as well i bred them too from a few of these older ones as well that were from the original one so really it's like three generations down and I still have a few more babies in the little compartment up there that I will be actually releasing soon um, but yes the new babies are doing great in there and this is just one of my favorite tanks if you, these guys are just the original fish um, I got these guys probably about three years ago and that's what really got me into the hobby um, I didn't really know much about fish before these guys and yeah, I just absolutely love them. I'll show you a bit more of their setup close up. Is their setup, guys? There's a skull just there with a few artificial plants around it, a bit of artificial wood. I've got an aerator in there, as also the uh, 125. I did want to point that out. Um, a few artificial rocks. I do have stones and gravel as a substrate. Um, and I just absolutely love this aquarium. It always stays super clear um, with just the dual uh, 65 litre filter but no it is just such a clear and healthy aquarium so guys the next massive fish tank of mine i do have is this this is a 240 litre fish tank with two albino Oscars in it. As you can tell, they are getting pretty darn big. Um, these guys will also be getting an upgrade on their tanks very soon. Um, I am using this really just to sort of grow them out a lot more. Um, they do still have plenty of room to swim about in, uh, but no, they are just also two of my favorite fish. They have so much personality. So if you're ever thinking about getting a fish with a lot of personality and you have the space and the tank room, these guys are your ones. Definitely recommend getting some Oscar fish. This is their tank. It's about four and a half feet long, about two and a half feet high and only a foot and a half long. So, or about a foot long actually. It's not a very wide tank, but they do have the swimming space. I didn't really overpack it with plants or anything. Um, so I just wanted them to have that room to swim about, but they are looking absolutely amazing now. They have grown up so much. Um, they just get along so well, these two. But they are just two of my most favorite fish in this entire room. I have got a comment before asking me, do I have a hamster cage under this big fish tank here? And I did answer that in a q and I done. I also put that in above to get to know me a bit more. But yes, I do have a hamster cage underneath my fish tank. Good spotting to whoever spotted that out in a video. Um, but I will show you him now. Little setup. His name is Perry. Um, he's a little dwarf male hamster. And I actually just cleaned him regularly, so his cage is looking really clean. In his little setup, I have his little house just down there, 
uh, with the blue, uh, the blue little house with the sawdust coming out. I also have this climbing frame that we got for him um, because we just thought it was quite fun to have something else in there apart from his will. His food is on the second platform, as you can see, just in that little bowl over there. We have a little mineral, uh, sort of like nori chew for him. So if he needs any sort of vitamins and minerals, that is definitely what that is for. I want to get a tube actually for him that comes out of there and will come up and round and down in there. I think that'd be quite fun. Um, and just a quickie, if anyone's wondering why there's a stone in the tank, if you can see it, or in the cage, if you can see it in there, uh, just in there, it is a piece of sandstone. If you're wondering why I have a random piece of rock in my hamster cage, it's basically because during the summer months in the UK, and especially in this room, it gets very, very hot. All these fish tanks are set between 70 and 80 degrees, so it does really heat the room up but not too much. So I got that stone and I actually refrigerate it when the room gets really warm and place it in his tank as almost like a cooling pad for him. And he absolutely loves it. He stretches out on it and he properly cools down um, because hamsters can't cool down through like air being blown at them or anything like that. They need to cool their body temperature down by having something cold to lay on. Um, and also it does help with sharpening nails. So when he does uh, tread on that, um, he does and will sharpen his nails, which will stop him from scratching or irritating or even hurting himself. Make sure that he stands on it. I put one of his treats on the outside bit here so that he will have to stand on that to eat the treat. Guys, thank you so much for watching my little Meet the Animals video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and do enjoy all the animals as much as I do. And make sure to go down below and subscribe if you're not already to join the crew and the family of animals we have on this channel and are growing on this channel. And please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy this video because it does really help me out a lot. So I know exactly what you guys like to see. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. Stay safe, stay positive, and see you next time. Bye.